Better late than never. A DNA sample taken two years ago leads to a match and then an arrest. NBC 10's Allison Bologna with that story new at 6 o'clock. It happened here back in 2012, a break in at a home on this road. When we first responded, um, obviously we determined the point of entry was a smashed in slider. These are pictures of the smashed in slider. Police processed the whole home after getting called to the scene, gathering evidence to make an arrest. And that's when they found a splash of fresh blood here on the slider, the size of about a dime. It's painstaking work to seize, successfully seize, and not have it compromised blood evidence. Well, this crime in Richmond occurred in 2012, and police sent DNA samples here to the Department of Health right away. It took almost two years to make a match. We asked why. We keep that crime scene profile in the database for as long as necessary. It stays in there indefinitely, but there's always new convicted offenders being added to that database. So if somebody comes in after the crime scene profile, eventually they're going to match it because we search the two against each other on a regular basis. And that's what appears to have happened here. On a state level, Rhode Island takes samples from all felony convictions. And right now, there are 19,000 samples in the database. Nationally, there are more than 11 million convicted offender profiles in the database. In my opinion, solving housebreaks is one of the most gratifying jobs uh, as a police officer. Police just arrested a Warwick man in connection with this crime. He's been charged and released and will now have to fight this case in court. In Richmond, Allison Bologna, NBC 10 News.